Health and housing is critical to the vitality and the future survival of this community. I think that this project is going to become a model for communities all over America. The Community Health Care Center concept was founded in Mississippi. So it's not surprising that Jackson is doing this innovation. Out of pain and suffering comes innovation. There are great people here, people who have a lot of heart, a lot of soul. It sort of oozes out of our beings. A lot of culture, a lot of history. One in four Jacksonians is below the poverty level in this city of 151,000. Too much of the city's housing stock is very old and in need of repair or replacement. The Health and Housing Project has the realization of a dream by Dr. Aaron Shirley, inspired by his visits to Iran, that they had community health workers that were embedded in neighborhoods. And he decided to try to replicate that model here in Mississippi, rather than forcing people to go get the resources, we're taking the resources to the people. The Pearl is going to be a $28 million, 76 unit senior living facility. And we're embedding a federally qualified healthcare center in the facility where the average resident can readily access that healthcare without much effort. I don't think that you can overstate the role the Gulf Coast Housing Partnership has played in this project. We couldn't have done it without them. You could have a vision and you could have an idea, but you gotta have know-how, you have to have expertise. And GCHP has played that role and they've played it well. The Enterprise Wells Fargo Challenge allowed us to overcome the significant barriers that health insurance companies have to making an investment in affordable housing and make our first two projects a reality. We took a lot of the ideas that were foundational to the approach in Jackson to develop the Health and Housing Initiative in New Orleans in the H3C project. The leadership of Pearl Street AME Church has played a vital role. They had a vision for something beyond the church walls that would provide great housing, but that also would provide great health care. This project probably has a greater coming together of various resources than any other project I've ever been involved with. Private sector, foundations, corporations, state agencies, healthcare institutions, a whole bunch of folks that don't normally work together. We're creating a national model for data collection that is going to be critical to our being able in the future to influence policymakers and funding sources. What we're trying to do here is create another important tool that can bring flexible, low-cost capital to an affordable housing development that otherwise couldn't happen. And once we've demonstrated the impact that we know is possible, scale could be significant. As a legislator, being the guy who originated the legislation for a civil rights museum is one of my greatest accomplishments. I think that this project will be part of my legacy as well.